Understanding Soul Discretion, a guide for English learners. Hello everyone, and welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to explore the meaning and usage of the phrase, soul discretion. This phrase is commonly used in legal, business, and everyday contexts. So understanding it can really enhance your English proficiency. Let's dive in. Soul discretion is a phrase that combines two powerful words, soul, meaning only or single, and discretion, which refers to the power or right to decide or act. When used together, soul discretion implies that a person or entity has the exclusive authority to make a decision without needing approval from others. It's often used in contexts where decision-making power is emphasized. To better understand soul discretion, let's look at some examples. 1. Contractual agreements. The company reserves the sole discretion to change the terms of the agreement. Here, it means the company alone can modify the terms. 2. Policy decisions. Management has the sole discretion to approve or deny leave requests. This indicates that only the management can make decisions about leave requests. A common mistake is confusing sole discretion with shared decision-making. Remember, sole discretion always refers to a single party having complete control over the decision. It's not about consensus or team decisions. In formal contexts, use it in legal, business, or formal settings to indicate clear, autonomous decision-making authority. In everyday language, be cautious. Using it in casual conversations might sound overly formal or authoritative. I hope this video has clarified the meaning and use of sole discretion. Remember, it's all about exclusive authority and decision making. Keep practicing, and you'll master these nuances in no time. Happy learning, and see you in our next video.